What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Nerd Show. It's the week before Christmas, so we're celebrating by looking at Christmas things all week. So today we're looking at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series holiday figures once again. So we got the last wave of figures, maybe last year. It's been so long, I can't remember. But now we have this new wave, and we didn't buy everything. We we're just trying to pick and choose what we like. But unfortunately, we were supposed to have the Walmart exclusive Scout Trooper, but it got canceled on us, and we haven't been able to find it in store or anything. So unfortunately, we just have these three figures here today. But we're going to be looking at the Phase 2 Clone Trooper that that looks like a gingerbread man so that looks pretty awesome so phase two armor just with the gingerbread design onto it and comes with a little pork we've got the mandalorian warrior that comes with a boggling so he's got like an ugly sweater design all red and green looks pretty awesome there and the coolest figure i think is the wookie that looks like a yeti so he's all white with the blue designs onto him has a porg with him as well and they all just look very cool so i'm excited to check these out and add these into our star wars holiday figure so pretty cool for these three here that i'm excited about so let me get them out of the box we'll take a look at them together. So we're going to start off with our Phase 2 Clone Trooper design as the Gingerbread Man. So it looks pretty cool. So it has the Phase 2 armor, so you can tell with like the head design and stuff there, but it just looks like the clone armor otherwise. But it's all brown this time, so it looks like it would be like a Geonosis Trooper or something like that with this brown color of armor, but it looks pretty cool running throughout it. But then it has the Gingerbread design, so like his face and stuff has the white, you know, it's supposed to be like the icing and stuff, so it's like the mouth and the eye visor design in there. He has a little bow tie design on his chest with some green buttons going down with a little bit of white icing there around the arms so just around like the cuffs and stuff and same down on the legs but otherwise he's just all brown so you know not a whole lot to it but it just has that design of a gingerbread man with like I said some of the icing designs with like the white and then the bow tie and buttons and stuff but otherwise like I said just looks like a brown clone trooper not really too Christmassy and stuff but I like the thought overall you know just with this brown color and then just the minor things heck if you want you could probably take stuff like a rubbing alcohol or something and sort of wipe this stuff and try and get this paint off and you just have a brown clone trooper but otherwise I think overall it still looks pretty cool it's nice fun design this is one i know a lot of people like and we definitely want to see it because it's different and stands out you know looks gingerbread manish and stuff with the colors but overall i think it's just fun we'll go and do his movements though so his head twists all the way around he can look down a little bit and up a little bit barely any movements it feels like some stuck or stiff up in here so i can't really get too many movements but the shoulders can come up to 90 with the soft shoulder pads you know get out of the way and rotate around and it also has a butterfly joint there we get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation and the wrist can twist around and flex up and down we have the ab crunch there so crunch back and forth and twist around hips can come up to 90 and out to the side a little bit there we have the of course the thigh twist the single knee joint that bends to the back and has rotation and the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side so it's your standard modern day clone trooper so nothing too different or amazing here it's just the design and color and stuff is what the whole point of this is you know being for the christmas or holiday designs but overall i really like this just the design wise i feel they could put a little more into it to make it look a little bit more gingerbread manish but i think just what they have here is fine but he does come with some accessories so first we get a gun so we have the dc 15a blaster and i like these because they remind me of nerf guns so like this one's all white but it has some orange on it so it has the orange tip on it there and so it just adds some colors and like i said makes it look like a nerf gun or something but let's go and put this in his hand so there he's got the gun in his hand and then he also has a pork thrown in here so we have what i call santa pork so it's a pork with the sand outfit so it's got you know the red with the white fur and stuff all wrapped around it and then his little pork head sticking out of the top so it looks pretty fun and cute there just a little pork that we can sit along with it but overall pretty fun set with this gingerbread clone trooper and comes with a little pork and stuff so pretty fun to add this to our holiday troopers and then we have the mandalorian warrior which doesn't really have much of a design you like the gingerbread he's just in a christmas color so has a lot of the red and green and then has the ugly sweater design so has the mandalorian mythosaur logo there on his chest with some other designs and i like how it's just the mandalorian just with the printing on top of it so you still have all the details and stuff of it just with additional then like the Boba Fett helmets are just Mandalorian helmets there in green on the top so like I said just that ugly sweater design with like the stitched pattern and stuff but overall pretty fun they included that then like I said it's mostly just red and green so he's got the dark red maroon color for the underneath for his like body glove and armor piece and stuff so all that's there with the bright red and green on top of it so I love the belt with the underwear piece the thigh pads knee pads and then the helmet is mostly all red as well with that bright green so the bright green front visor with the pauldrons and the van braces there and the green just stands out a lot i love down on the legs the shin guards have like sock designs so white and green striped socks like going up his legs and then the green boots there in that nice bright green color as well as his jet pack so it looks pretty cool there just all in the solid green color i feel it could use more details and stuff but they just chose to do it in the all green colors still looks pretty cool and 
overall just looks pretty fun just with the bright red and green colors this stands out quite a bit what we'll do is movement so his head twists all the way around looks down a little bit and up a little bit again very little movements in there shoulders up to 90 and rotate around we have like a bicep twist just a little bit above the elbow there and then the single elbow joint that bends back and forth a little bit and has some rotation in there and then we also rotate at the top of the van brace it feels like it's a little stuck there but can twist around there as well with the wrist that can twist around and flex back and forth then we have the waist crunch so crunches back and forth very little if any but twist around there the hips can come up to 90 and out to the side a little a thigh twist that can twist around a double knee joint that's going to be pretty stiff but can bend up to the back like i said it is real stiff so you have to be careful but it can bend up and he can kick himself in the butt then we have the feet that can flex back and forth and twist side to side so he's just the standard mandalorian warrior we've had multiple times with the different figures from like the clone wars and the mandalorian with like the death watch mandalorians and stuff but overall you know not bad still pretty decent figure just have the issues especially with the feet like i don't know with the foot design or whatever the feet just can't get in the proper position so i have a lot of issues with him falling backwards but overall i just love the colors of this mostly but for weapons we get the ambin phase pulse blaster so the mandalorian's rifle gun looks pretty cool again with that nerf design so mostly a white brown handle and then some orange designs on the tip and then right in the center there so that's pretty fun and cool so we can put this in his hand so unfortunately with his hands design you can't really get him to hold the gun properly you know to be able to use it like a gun but you can just sort of put it in his hands like that so he's just standing there with it maybe just going to use the shock stick on the end of it but pretty cool to have it there with that again with that does nerf design on the gun and stuff looks pretty cool having that and for his animal he comes with a boggling so we get an all-white boggling with some blue legs so it makes it look like north polish or something but it looks pretty fun and cute and stuff a nice little creature again just to sit with him so overall the mandalorian warrior is fine like it's not the best design like I said since it's just like an ugly sweater design but i like the colors and stuff and makes me like it enough with that i just don't like the actual figure itself like even with the normal mandalorian warriors i don't like them too much but overall it's just fine with the colors but overall, my favorite of these is the Wookiee, which I call a Yeti just because it's got the all white fur. But it's pretty much the Wookiee like Zalbar we've had has the same like chest harness and stuff. But they added designs like the blue to make it look more like Yeti-ish and stuff like the classic Yeti design with the blue. So he's got the blue hands, the blue on his feet, and then even some blue lips there around his mouth. And then I like the gray around his eyes and on his nose and stuff. Add some little details in there. But overall, it just looks like a Wookiee, like a Jubak or something like said, more like Zalbar with this chest harness design with all red design much like he had but it's got little white stripes in there so it makes it look like candy canish design and stuff but overall not a whole lot to it just looks like you know all white fur and stuff which is cool with the blue just adds some details in there and makes me like it a lot so like i said this is definitely my favorite out of all these figures so far but we can do his movement so his head can twist a little side to side again with the wookies you don't get too much because of the fur and can rock back and forth a little bit the shoulders come up to 90 and rotate around we get the single elbow joint that bends a little bit there under 90 and has rotation as well as the wrist can twist around which are pretty hard to twist with the fur we can twist around and rock back and forth a little we have the upper ab crunch there so he can crunch back and forth and twist around and then it feels like there's some at the waist a little crunching back and forth and maybe a twist a little kind of hard for me to tell but the hips can come up a little and out to the side some a thigh twist that are real stiff on these but can twist all the way around the single knee joint that bends just under 90 and has rotation and we have the foot that flexes back and forth again with all the fur it doesn't really get too much so it's a little back and forth and a little side to side so it just has the standard wookie issues of not being able to move too much because of all the fur but it just looks really good like i said the white with the blue just stands out a lot and makes me like it. and then has the nice bright red chest harness and stuff so it stands out quite a lot there but for his weapon he comes with a bow caster just in a red design so it's red with black designs on it so it stands out a little and stuff but of course with this being like zalbar he does have the hook so of course we can like kind of hook it back here somehow however you want to do it but we'll just go and put it into his hand but there's our wookie with the gun in his hands i just kind of put him up like this like he's a big scary monster but overall it's fun but it's hard to you know get the weapon in his hand stuff again hard to get it positioned and held and stuff and for his little thing he comes with a poor pretty much all white has the little blue legs as well and then has a little scarf of red with some green on the bottom of it wrapped around his neck there so it looked pretty cute there as well to go with our other little creatures well, that's going to be it for our Star Wars Black Series Holiday Troopers for 2022, where we got the Gingerbread Clone Trooper, the Holiday Mandalorian Warrior, and the Yeti Wookiee. So all three are pretty cool. Like I said, we were hoping to get more, but some of them we decided just not to get. And then that Walmart Scout Trooper got canceled on us, so we don't have that figure. But pretty cool for the three. We have, like I said, I really like the Gingerbread Clone Trooper and then the Yeti Wookiee, but the Mandalorian Warrior I could do without. He's just okay. I just like the colors. But overall, they're pretty decent, nice, fun things to add to, like, put on display during the holidays and stuff. But overall... Overall, not bad figures, I can't say. But let me know what you thought I'm down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there. And I'll see you in our next review.